Welcome to Hola Houston, a public affairs program addressing issues of interest to Houston's Hispanic community. First, some very important health information, especially for Latinas, so listen up. You may not know this, but heart disease is the number one killer of Hispanic women, and Latinas tend to develop heart disease earlier than their non-Hispanic Caucasian counterparts. What's the reason for this, and what can we do about it? Well, here with some insight, we have uh, Dr. Silva, an interventional cardiologist with the Texas Heart Institute at St. Luke's Episcopal Hospital. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, My pleasure. Dr. Silva. First of all, why don't you just talk to us about heart disease and, and and how it correlates with the Hispanic community? Um, the correlation is very direct. Heart disease is a consequence of uh, some risk factors such as diabetes, uh, being overweight, being inactive, uh, smoking, and having high cholesterol and hypertension. And that's quite prevalence, uh, prevalent in the Hispanic community. Why is it so much in the Hispanic community out, out of the rest? That's a very good question. Uh, maybe uh, because of the diet, uh, very rich in carbohydrates, and there is a very high incidence of diabetes in the Hispanic community. And sometimes Hispanics go uh, too far beyond the point they, since diabetes is most of the times asymptomatic, people don't feel anything, they develop it and they continue, the disease progresses without being attended for. How about particularly in women? Are you seeing it more in the Hispanic women than, than the Hispanic male? Absolutely. Uh, Hispanic women are a very difficult group to, um, to attend to because the problem with women in general is that their symptoms are not as clear as in men. So sometimes women don't pay attention to their symptoms because they're used to taking care of other people, taking care of the kids, taking care of the husband, uh, and they don't pay attention to you know, chest discomfort, chest pain, chest pressure, shortness of breath when they walk, or even sometimes a little stabbing pain in their chest or in the back, all of this could represent heart disease in women. And are some of those symptoms different um, between men and, and, and women? Will they, uh, you know, feel things differently in their body? I know a lot of people talk about the numbness in the left arm or mm -hmm. the right arm. Is it same for the both? It's the same for both. If you're having, but the problem with women is that they usually don't have the typical symptoms, which is the elephant sitting on your chest, with radiation to the left side here with numbness in the left arm. Women have what more what we call atypical symptoms. They also have the chest pain and the numbness sometimes, but most of the times they have just a twitching in the chest or some shortness of breath when they pick up the kid. And so women need to be more attentive to the symptoms because most of the times they don't have the quote unquote typical uh, angina, which is you know your heart pain. And it's also important to know that some doctors, especially, unfortunately, primary care physician doctors are not as aware of, of that mm -hmm. as cardiologists, which are specialists, are more aware of this characteristic of pain in women. And so would you say, doctor, when you see some of these patients, for some of them it might be too late, or how does that work? Uh, absolutely. Unfortunately, and that's, that's very, very common with Hispanic women and men, uh, like I said before, they develop diabetes and they don't, they don't attend to the disease, and then things progress uh, far beyond what we can fix. How about family history? Some people don't go to the doctor because they say, well, it doesn't run in my family, but what if it does? If it does, it's even worse. So family history can, can function not only for heart disease and heart attacks, but also for family history of high cholesterol or family history of high blood pressure all those things run in families and high cholesterol and high blood pressure actually cause heart disease so if even if you don't have a history of quote unquote heart attacks or heart disease in your family if you do have a history of high cholesterol and high blood pressure you need to be checked how do you know if you have heart disease because i know in many cases some people will feel bad one day they feel good the next and then maybe a week later they feel bad and, it, and it's one of those things they don't go to the doctor because in that instance they're feeling great yes uh, the symptoms of heart disease uh, can be very deceiving you're absolutely right uh, most of the times what you need to do is you need to see your doctor and have what's called a treadmill stress test uh, and maybe an ultrasound of your heart to make that diagnosis of the presence of heart disease. But you, you, again, you should not discount your symptoms. And can you give the folks who are watching this some advice? Uh, I know you talked about that Hispanic diet. Is there anything that we can do to curb that? 
Uh, yes. For example, you can make food choices that will uh, reflect in your future health, uh, such as change from flour tortillas uh, to corn tortillas, uh, privilege the use of chicken and fish instead of pork, and absolutely cut back on the fried food. Anything else that you feel that our viewers should know about this, uh, this very important issue? This is a, a key issue in the United States. The Hispanic community is usually not attended to, unfortunately, and Hispanics need to pay attention uh, to heart disease more than cancer, for example. Okay, well, we are going to get some information out for our viewers just in case they want some more information. We definitely want them to turn to the experts. Can you give us that website there? It's www.texasheart.org. And you have a full uh, gamma of information for heart disease in that website. Perfect. Okay, good stuff. Thanks so much, Doctor, for joining us Thank this you. morning. It's my pleasure. We really appreciate it. Thank okay. you.